All right, go ahead and open it up for questions here in the room. Proceed to keep it going. Sure. Or you guys just um after that first half, it seemed like everything was rolling, had like 48 points, and then that third quarter hit. Just what happened during that third quarter? We just had a lull. Um they elevated and we stayed the same. Um and then we got going again in the fourth, but you can't do that when you're playing really good teams. Um you can't do that in this league. And uh did they do anything defensively or in also when you're in it, you know, after two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, what, what is the conversation like? I mean, honestly, the shots that we were taking just were in, in and out. Um, they weren't bad shots. The shots we were making the first half. And when you have, um, you know, shots that kind of do that or offense kind of gets stagnant and you're not getting stops as well, it makes it feel a lot worse. And so we got to do a better job as a whole, figuring out what we could do to break the, uh, momentum of the other teams to kind of get us going as well. So that's just uh, on us, and that's a learning experience that we'll figure out and get back to, to work up on it. Thank you. Yeah, Joel. Um, first, I'm curious with Connecticut, a uh, new head coach this year, do they play any different compared to when they were under Kurt Miller? Uh, yes, I know. I don't know. Um, I mean, the players are, it's hard to change how players play in general. Mm -hmm. um, defensively, I think they're still aggressive defensively. They have great, you know, ability on the ball screens, the high hedge. They're, they've always been really good in passing lanes. That's kind of been their MO. Um, you know, I think they use on the offensive side, they they go inside a lot, but I think they've always done that. So I don't know. I mean, they seem about the same respectfully. I don't know if that's like a, a shag or not, but I don't know. They're good. They're a good ass team. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just curious because yeah, a lot of the same personnel, like you said, yeah. uh, but new coach. Um, also talk about your teammates' performance there, double-double, 11 points, 13 rebounds. Yeah, you know, her activity level is what makes her unique in this league. You know, the more she's active, the better she is. And, you know, when she's calm and understands what she needs to be doing on the court, she's magnificent. And that's what we need, and that's what we see from her every day in practice. And you guys are seeing it. And um, it's exciting to see her growth throughout the season, and she's staying with it, and uh, she makes me very proud. And Jordan, for you, um, I thought, especially in the second quarter, you and Jewel were working well off of each other, some pick and roll action and stuff. Just talk about um, kind of the rapport you're building with Jewel. Um, I mean, Jewel, she doesn't really need too much of anything. I just, whenever she gave me the eyes, I just know, okay, I got to come screen. Um, but like I said, she's she's a great player. So, I mean, she'll make, any, make something out of nothing. Um, just trying to, you know, build our chemistry. Um, but it's all in the eyes. I just look at her eyes and see what she wants. We getting there though. <laughs> yeah, sure. What can you say about her shooting efficiency? And and I mean Jordan Hodgson, I don't mean to talk to her like she's not here. Yeah. yeah. Just I'm looking at the box score. She's five for ten and obviously the 13 rebounds. But just her focus now and her execution on the offensive end. She's just in a rhythm. You know, I think her ability to just elevate in the lane helps her a lot. Um, rarely does she get her shot blocked. Um, you know, she has nice touch around the rim. So if she's in the short pocket, um, that's usually, you know, we tell her we want her to shoot more. <laughs> um, and that's what her assignment is, is to find little pockets, shoot those little floater shots, and then uh, as well as you know, backing up for the three. So uh we do I think we we've done a better job of making sure she's in the right spots to be efficient. And she's been more aggressive to looking to score, which we need her to do. So that's the work she's put in, not really us. It's you know, her growing as a rookie and understanding the game of basketball. And then the ability to get the 13 rebounds, can you, is that something that you know? They told me when I came in to go get the rebound, and that's what I did. I just went and checked the ball down. I mean, you have a 40-inch vert. It makes, a lot, it makes it a lot easier. That's simple. That's simple. Going after the ball. Just, just go, go get the ball. I'm sorry. We all good? Charlie, Hello? sorry. Oh, yeah. Um, obviously frustrated with the loss, but considering how good this Connecticut team is and to see the sort of fight that you guys put up, is that encouraging to go into the you know next day and say, hey, you know, put out a good effort, obviously not complete, you're not happy with that part, but just to see that and see that there was, you hung with them. Does that encourage you, at least Jewel, just seeing that from this group? I think the identity of this team is, you know, we play fast and we fight. I think that's that's what we've been. Now that's who we are. And, you know, we we understand the, our expectations in the locker room. 
and what we want to do as a whole and where we're trying to go. And to do that, you have to be locked in and you have to compete no matter who's on the floor, no matter who you're playing against. And that's just basketball in general. It's just going out there and holding yourself accountable, holding your teammates accountable. And that's what we do every time we're on the floor and we see that. And we're never, you know, for us, we never feel like we're so out of games. We want to compete. We want to get there. And that's what you want to have on a, you know, championship team, on a playoff team, on a team that's rebuilding, whatever it is, you want to have that fight. And we do um, here in Seattle. And to second that, um, <laughs> I was okay. Um, the second that I feel like I don't know why people be like surprised that you know we be in games because I mean we expect that like we we go into the games thinking okay we're gonna knock them off. It's not like oh yes we in the game oh we only lost by six. No, we wanna we wanna win. Like we competitors. Like so I feel like no we're we're not happy that we lost because we feel like we can beat that team. We feel like we can beat any team. So. Um, it's encouraging, I guess you could say, for us to, you know, for y'all to see that, you know, we can play like that, but we got to just learn um, how to finish and, like, how to capitalize on things, certain things. But, I mean, it's it's just, it's all growing pains. Um, it's a new team, um, but I'm, like, it's definitely encouraging. Um, but, no, we, we, we belong in this league. Um, we belong. We, we're competitors. Um, and I don't know why people are shocked that, you know, we're in games with people. I mean, I know we're young. I get it. I get it. I guess that's the reason <laughs> you got to talk. But if you're a competitor, you're a competitor. It's basketball at the end of the day. And I feel like, you know, we got a lot of people who simply compete. Kind of building off of that, um, the average height of Connecticut is just a little bit taller. Do you, how do you feel like that game plan kind of worked being a smaller team against them and, you know, maybe going on to play them in the future or other, you know, bigger teams. How do you feel like you kind of measured up in that sense? Honestly, I think we define um, our physicality down low. Uh, I mean, we have size too, but we also have athletes. So our ability to just be, be vertical um, and contest shots is there. And, you know, that's discredit to how athletic this team is. So I think obviously they're, you know, their length is effective uh, for them defensively, but at the same time, I trust what we do. And I mean, we define. Similar to that, just talk, uh, Jordan, talk about the challenges defensively going up against either like an Alyssa Thomas or Brianna Jones uh, in the um, paint. Yeah. I mean, there's just very physical. Um, we knew that coming in. Uh, Definitely, definitely bully ball type of team. Um, we just had to match their physicality. Uh, but yeah, they're they're pretty strong. How strong yeah. is AT? <laughs> look, look, look. Okay. She didn't really body me, for real. I think I felt like I held my own down in the post. I mean, <laughs> we only we only went down there maybe twice. So she only scored on me once. But she didn't body me. I didn't get one. I didn't take. I didn't take one to the gut today. It's fine. So I feel like it's fine. Yeah. But 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 off season for sure. I'm getting stronger. No cap. Y'all gonna see a difference. Was that a clean block that you had late? Oh, no. oh don't no, you're not, see yeah. You, you got. Well, yeah, we can't say nothing about that. No, we can. Oh, we can. I'll, I'll say it for you. Okay. You don't want to get fined. <laughs> <laughs> they fine I'll take. I'll take the. I'll take the hit for you. I mean, it's unbelievable. We have a list of sh stuff to send in. I mean, oh God. It's awful. It's like Pee Wee basketball. The calls, the calls are like that. Very, very emotional. Yeah, it's bad for everybody. All right, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Y'all hit a nerve. Yeah, that we'll take that here, Jeff. Hey, Coach. Hi. Um, uh, you you guys had like. 48 points at halftime. I believe at the time you were shooting like 48%. Things were rolling. Then that third quarter hit, um, yeah. three for 17. Just yeah. what happened during that stretch? It just felt like a lid was on the basket. Uh, I thought that we got decent shots. Uh, we got to the rim, um, some missed some bunnies. And, you know, we stopped kind of doing the things that, that got us um, the lead and efficiency in the first half. So it was difficult third quarter, um, but the other three quarters, I thought we were pretty decent. And it, um, it seemed like, again, with like Jewel, that she's able to like get it going, make some tough shots, yeah. but finding, I guess, more scoring sources. Or, mm -hmm. or like scoring yeah, um, I think Evie had a tough game today, um, wasn't efficient offensively, and um, we had some sporadic scoring. Um, I think we do need some consistency from our group in general. 
And, you know, when we see when other players contribute on the offensive end, it, it helps tremendously to have multiple scores. Um, but again, going against a very good defense, it's tough. Thank you. First coach, I'm curious, what's, what are noticeable differences um, with Stephanie White at the head coach as opposed to Kurt Miller with Connecticut? They, their pace is different. Um, you know, still not shooting a lot of threes, but I think, you know, they offensively with Kurt, I think, you know, he was very particular about what they ran and who they ran it for. Um, you know, um, Thomas is playmaking way more, um, bringing the ball up and utilizing ball screens a lot more. Just a little, I think the spacing is a little bit different in their pace, I would point to. And then uh, Connecticut dominated at points in the paint, 52 to 30. Yeah. Um, just talk about how difficult it is to stop Thomas, Brianna Jones and the like. Yeah, it's extremely difficult. They um, live in the paint. Um, majority of their offense is twos. And that is from post-ups. That is from getting downhill into the paint. They are difficult because of their size and their length. Um, they pose match, match up, mismatch, um, Mismatches in every position, honestly. DB plays a wing, but she's as tall as the post player. Um, so, you know, they're just very physical and they get to where they want to get to. And um, they're very efficient as well. And on a positive note, uh, rookie Jordan Horston has a double-double, 11 points, 13 rebounds. Um, talk about what you saw from her and especially her ability to rebound. It helps us tremendously. Um, her athleticism and um, her ability to just give us some extra possessions offensively, take the load off of Ezzy from the rebounding, um, the rebounding load, um, you know, again, just getting into the pain and uh, allowing us to get some easier looks from two, um, just because she's athletically gifted, I think that helps. Um, she's doing an amazing job as a rookie. Um, and when she rebounds like that and can be consistent with some scoring, hit a couple of uh, one three, that's good. We just have to get her to the free throw line. And, you know, once again, she's defending a very top player in Alyssa Thomas and doing it. And NDB as well. That's, we played her at the three a little bit and she showed that she can um, be uh, provide some good things there. So it's good to see her. And just talk about the um, chemistry between her and Jewel, especially in the second quarter. They were running some really good pick and roll action and stuff. And I found like they were finding each other. Yeah, they were. Um, second half, they started trapping Joe way more. Um, and so we couldn't get that uh, action um, as much as we did in the first half. But, you know, for her to be able to one set good screens, I thought that in general, I thought our, our team set way better screens today to give us some open looks. But her athleticism at the rim, you can give it to her at the rim. You can give it to her in a pocket for her to be a playmaker because she's a, a big guard and she can see. Um, so there are good things happening there. She's continuing to grow and learn, you know, where we want her, the pace that she needs to play at and how to be, how to attack defenses. Just going back to, and I don't want to be labeled the third quarter, but going back to your opening comment or the question, you said that you stopped doing some things in the third quarter. And then obviously you kind of corrected those from a teaching perspective, you know, what was the message like? And is that a growth point, obviously, because you came back in the fourth? It's, I don't think we started the game well either. You know, we missed a jump ball, gave up a layup, um, foul, turn, missed two free throws. I, I just think our starts to those 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 two quarters were um, indicative of how that quarter went. Obviously, in the first, we picked it up. But um, the teaching point is we have to hold ourselves accountable, especially after halftime, and not um, settle, continue our focus, and do exactly what we did to get us here. Now, obviously, we adjust as the game adjusts, but I thought we got away from our transition um, ball screens, area of the floor ball screens. Um, I thought we defensively kind of uh, were not um, communicating as much, um, missed some of the defensive assignments. And so that's just focus a lot of the times. And it is as coaches, we can say and tell and do on the floor in the moment. That's the teaching point. We have to make it, uh, we have to turn the corner. The physicality of the game that the team was focus at times is that uh only? yeah I mean I think you know Jewel was getting no leave on her she was getting denied and all those things and still able to score 33 which is good but um they're they, they disrupted us in other ways as well their uh their denials their pressure on our post players but I I actually 
I thought we were okay with their physicality. A lot of times, historically, when we play Connecticut, I feel like we get bullied. I didn't think we got bullied today. Um, it was about a matter of execution and, and focus and just locking in in those crucial moments. We can't be roller coaster. We have to be even killed. Uh, last one is Jordan talked about, I think we asked her something about, well, are you okay with this game? And in her best way, she was like, no, we mm -hmm. want to win every game. I don't know. You know, she wasn't saying it in this tone, but just the expectation she said, we're as good as anybody out there. Mm -hmm. And I'll paraphrase and say it's almost like there's no more victories in what they're out to do. Good. She was listening to me in the post game. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You know, there aren't like our the expectation for our group in our locker room is um, our reasonable expectation is to continue to get better every single day. And that is a, a very good expectation for this group. Now, we are in a game and winning at halftime with the number two team in this league. That's not enough, though. And that's the that's we have to want more. And how do we get over the hump and how do we expect more? That is just, just in our effort and what we do. But if I come into a game or a moment, I'm like, oh, we're not even supposed to be here anyway. Like then I relax a little bit. No, we're supposed to be here because we are here. Like that's our goal for this team. Like we are we are capable of being in games and, and winning games in this league. And for this young group to see that and experience that, I love that early on to know that this is going to help us, um, you know, for now and in the future. But the expectation can't just be, oh, it's, we, we, we did okay against Connecticut. No, we can be in games and potentially beat these teams who are top in the league. Um, you touched on the physicality a little bit, but so far in the season, you all have played some of the, you know, tallest teams in the league, you know, big post presence. Um, have you, how have you liked your game plan when it comes to those taller teams? Um, any adjustments going into playing those teams the second time? Yeah, I mean, we've we've matched up with our length, that is Mercedes and um, our physicality. You know, her, her physicality in the post matters. Um, I do. I like our game plan about, you know, keeping people off of their sweet spots and bringing disruption where needed, trapping and all of those things. And we'll continue. It's early. You know, we'll continue to get better and grow in those those areas. But I mean, we I think we're doing a good job as he's holding it down, coming over um, and, and blocking shots. And, and and I think it starts with those two as you and Sadie's to, to hold it down. And you talked about Ivana, you know, maybe not um, being great offensively tonight, but um, have you seen kind of her step up to the plate as that starting point guard leadership wise and communication wise? I have. Um, she's very confident in what she does. She's been playing professional basketball for a long time and I know not in the W, but there's something to say about um, being young and experience what she has ha has experienced on that level. And I think that's what she's brought. She's brought poise. She's brought confidence. She's a, a high IQ player. Um, she also plays on the other side of the ball. She plays defense. She's aggressive and she always, you know, wants to, to be and do more. So um, I've, I've seen a lot of growth in her and um, we will continue to um, put her in positions on the floor to be successful. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of being said away with, I mean, obviously, it's yeah, I, I'm not sure that it was warranted. Ebony just asked why if we can't talk to the referee. That's what she she just asked her question. Um, and mine, I just felt like I think I, they, Joel got a blindsided uh, screen on the back end. I, I didn't, the referee was right in front, and I didn't think that um, she was watching that play. Thought that should be a call. I I, I will ride or die for our players, and if I feel like there's a a play that needs to be heard, talked about, or whatever it is. I will do that, and um, that's what that was. I didn't even curse, Jeff. <laughs> I didn't curse. <laughs> I didn't even get my money's worth on Juneteenth. They got me actually. Hey, didn't even curse. No, <laughs> oh, that was across the court. <laughs> You can't hear me that far away. <laughs> Who knows? Goodness. Not the day after Juneteenth, let me say that. <laughs> Thank you.